Hey, welcome to Pusher TV. Today, we need to talk about our problems. One problem that is that has plagued the 6.7 Powerstroke equipped Ford Super Duty trucks basically since their introduction in 2011, and that is the cold side charge tube. If you're watching this video, you're probably somewhat aware of this issue already, um, but we're going to kind of start from the beginning, educate you a little bit on the factory parts, and then show you how to fix them. So I have both of the versions that came on these trucks basically this one is a full plastic version, came on 2011 to 2016 model year trucks. Then we have a more rubberized version that came on the 2017 all the way up to current model year, which is early, early 2022 right now. And so these guys' job is basically to take air from your intercooler outlet and deliver it to your throttle valve. And so they hook up here, use a C-clip style connection and O-ring at the throttle valve. And so in the past and to date on most light duty diesel trucks, charge tubes have always been made out of metal with a silicone connection at either end. This is a great way to cut costs. You can do a lot of complex bends and stuff like that right in the mold, but it's not up to the task. And so this has left many a power stroke owner on the side of the road. Um, Ford did switch to the more rubber radiator hose style version in 2017, which is proving to be pretty much just as problematic. These trucks are definitely a lot younger, so we haven't got to see how they perform when they're 10 plus years old. But um, both of these are proven failure points. When they do fail, if you have a trailer behind you, you're in hilly country, you really can't make any boosts, therefore you're not going anywhere. So the solution is pretty simple. Convert the whole assembly to a more conventional design, steel tube, silicone connections at both ends. The details are kind of where um, your concern should lie for this. And so this is our version here. It's all steel construction, all TIG welded, big beads at either end, fully powder coated. Some of the details here, probably the biggest one for this to look out for when you go going to uh, purchase one of these is if you're looking at a uh, version, the tube should have two bends. This is kind of like a helical design. You basically cannot get from your intercooler outlet to your throttle valve in, in a one planar bend. So I have an example here for you. So this is actually a tube off of a different model truck. And so you can see it's one bend, light, lays in one plane. If you laid it on the bench, it lays totally flat. So if you see something online offered that's like that for your truck, stay away from it. Because no matter how you set that thing up, you're going to either rub on your power steering fluid reservoir, your fan shroud, your upper radiator hose, something. So if you look at ours again, it's more of a helical design. It snakes around all that. Secondly, you have an intake air temperature sensor in these tubes, and so how you retain that is pretty important. They utilize kind of a twist lock design that's easy to mold in the plastic mold. It's a lot harder to replicate that in metal, so we actually designed a little polished stainless bracket that slides around the sensor, holds the sensor in a nice CNC machined uh, port here. I've seen some versions that have like a, a set screw that comes in from the side, which goes into the sensor and it's pretty easy to damage. I'd definitely stay away from that. And then here we have uh, a nice little option for some auxiliary ports. This is an eighth inch MPT port, which is your most common thread for an aftermarket boost gauge, water meth injector, nitrous injector, that type of thing. So if you're planning on doing that, you can option these in. Our base model does not have them because it's not as common in this application, but we offer that pretty much across our product line. So good little thing to add in if you need it. Then your connections at either end to take care of your C-clip style connection for your Emissions on, on road truck is a fully machined adapter here out of 6061 aluminum. It's all anodized, clips on the same way the factory unit does with the internal O-ring that comes in the kit, a new one. Anodizing is nice because machined aluminum is great at resisting corrosion, but over time it gets a little chalky, especially if you do like a really hard engine bay degrease. Uh, that soap's usually pretty caustic. It'll kind of chalk up your aluminum. The anodizing just helps fight against that. So pretty much all of our machine parts are anodized. To finish off your connections, super, super heavy duty, five ply silicone couplers at either end, full stainless T-bolt clamps, the T-bolt, everything's all stainless. Um, pretty much across the board, our entire silicone coupler line is rated to handle compound turbo system level of boost. This particular part may never see it, but you can bet those things are gonna last the life of the truck. And then for you guys that are doing off-road racing, whatever it is with tuned trucks, we do have a throttle valve replacement part to kind of simplify the whole assembly. So that is an option for you guys doing the off-road thing. We continually add information about the stuff to our site as we get FAQs from customers and whatnot. Go check that out. If you can't find what you're looking for there, give us a call, shoot us an email. Thanks for watching.